Now, I know people don't really like my videos on my channel because of how there are, once again, rumors spread about me. Along with basically, I guess the one person named Cartoonshi, I had I hate bringing this up, that I actually got a troll that subscribed on, on my channel, even though he randomly just dis disappeared. Um, I just heard that he's actually homophobic. His name is, like I said, once again, Cartoonshi, and I don't want to be around that, give or take. But I just wanted to share that, you know, it does get a little bit dis discouraging that no one really likes my videos. You know, people say that they do, but I know no one's going to watch this, you know, I, or people will be watching it, but they'll probably be clicking off and just not showing interest. I don't know why people keep watching my videos, they like keep coming back. I mean, clicking off, I can't talk right now. I try not to, like, worry too much because I've been going through a lot as it is. Especially what happened to me and Casey yesterday. And I apologize if, if you actually hear the fan, because... Honestly, I kind of feel comfortable kind of doing a veto that's vertical for once. But I had an encounter. I just want to share this. This is my experience. If you ever encounter someone that wants to put you in a fight, right? When I was walking to Walmart yesterday, I just had to push all that stuff aside just to get this off my chest. Ugh, feeling like this may not be helpful for anyone. This is just my experience, of course. And <sighs> I don't know. Sorry about that. I get discouraged that people don't like my videos that much, but um, when I was walking to Walmart last night, just to get some groceries because me and Casey were supposed to have anime night since we watched Dragon Ball Super and we're supposed to watch Food Wars, you know, she had to basically go back to her friend's place so that she can wake up early in order to actually go to church. Um, excuse me, I encountered some bald Mexican man. Whom, actually, I'm guessing in his early 40s, from what I can tell, that actually wanted me to move over the side of the sidewalk, even though the sidewalk wasn't that small. He can easily just bike on the other side. And basically, he had, like, some type of temper tantrum just because I wouldn't, like, really move out of his way, right? Because, I mean, I know his attitude sounds nasty. Why should I, right? Could be a little bit more, more respectful or saying, um, excuse me, you know, or behind you, like, I would definitely would take that into um, consideration. But the thing is that basically he threatened me when I actually kind of told him to cool it. You know, part of it was my mistake that I actually raised my voice to him, like, just keep moving. Because I know that would definitely put more fire to the fire. And basically he would actually say, you know, respect your elders and I beat your ass or something like that. Yet again, it's kind of amazing how he would say that when he's still running his bike throughout the crosswalks. Because I did show him that um, I actually... Hold on, let me actually get this over here. Have my pepper spray with me. That's a special plus deck, you right. Because I actually had this opened. Because seeing that I could have threatened him in order to... You know, this basically, this injured his eyes and basically beat him up myself. You know, I would never do such a thing because I never beat anyone up. I don't even thinking I can. But the thing is that basically what he actually did is just like, kind of like, biked off somewhere. You know, he was like, behind a Circle K. I basically told one of the workers there that if they ever seen him, they could just call the police on him. Even though they wouldn't do that because, well, they, they... What they wouldn't want to mistaken for someone else, but I just did that just in case if my life was in danger, and also just giving him like a weird glare because I'm sure he probably can tell that it was me, and even shutting out, which I don't recommend. That I said, Yeah, you better bike, you know, he wouldn't hear me. And I guess see, my lesson here is that just because this is not that this is a I'm gonna say, I'm, like, Dion, how can you explain this? It doesn't matter what sex you are, right? Especially if you're a, um, a boy yourself. It does not make you more manly when you actually want to fight someone or beat them up. Because, one, you can get your ass locked up in jail. Two, you can actually get injuries. And three, you're just wasting your energy, sacrificing your energy of your body just to basically having a fight with someone that seems like they're just, um, just, like... I'm going to say this, mentally unstable in the head, and he don't want to be around that. So, for me, I just tried to let it go. He didn't get physical. He's just this all talk, right? And I just want to say that if someone actually does that to you, do your best not to actually pull punches unless they do first. 
because you're the one that's actually being calm and they're actually making a scene while you know you're just trying to go out about your business so i just wanted to share like a little fun tip if this actually helps because so that this does bother me um for for quite some time and i just left it off i feel fine and it's kind of funny how that man said he was in a gang like people like to bluff sometimes if he was then i'm sure you know they've been like utter dangerous that would happen to me by now so i'm not sure if i see him in a bus and he probably pretend that nothing ever happened because it looked like that was him and i and he asked if he needed any drugs that's probably like another man but another um tip i want to want to share if you actually are on the streets do not feel ashamed if you if someone actually hey do you have like a cigarette or like you have something to smoke with just say no i don't thanks like just don't like yell at them but like speak up i suppose so that they know that you know, they cannot be asking, like, right on people, drugs and whatnot. Because, I mean, I know people like to smoke and they need to release stress, but it does not always help. But I just want to assure that if you're ever actually out on the streets, right? Like, not like homeless in that type of way. Or, hell, even if it has to go to that point. So, I just wanted to assure this if this actually helps. Because I just wanted to just give off my experience of how it's like when I actually... I'm a pedestrian and walking a lot where I live and I never have any problems out here well except for like one angry woman in her family that wanted to run me over that's one thing and being yelled at, being yelled at by someone else but other than that no one ever you know attacked me or anything I never had any issues just people yelling and whatnot but that's different so it's not like it's physical so I just want to show her because verbally it's different than physical you know abuse is abuse but ugh. It's whatever. So, I hope this tip was really helpful. And I just wanted to share that.